the fast pitch chat show. Listen up if you want to know. Tips from expert guests and pros. A whole lot of info on everything softball. The fast pitch chat show. Sponsored by softballjunk.com. Hi, I'm Bill Hillhouse of thehouseofpitching.com. I'm a pitching instructor that travels around doing clinics and camps pretty much all around the world. And what I want to talk to you about today is one of the products in my online store, the Double Ball. The Double Ball is the only device that I use in teaching the rise ball pitch. And there's a lot of different devices out there, a lot of different contraptions that people use to try to make the rise ball an easier pitch and there just really isn't any easy way to do it. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of hard work, and you're going to go through a lot of frustration. But the double ball is the one item that will make the rise ball happen faster than any other. One of the best things about the double ball is that you're actually throwing a ball. You know, there's other there's other devices like like simulated hockey pucks that you know, in a game, you're not pitching with a hockey puck. You're gonna be throwing a ball. So the more you can get your daughter or your pitcher throwing a ball and learning how to spin the ball with the seams, the better. But I get asked all the time, how is the proper way to use, what is the proper way to use the double ball? Well, the, the easiest answer is, you grip the ball whatever way you're comfortable with. I happen to use a fingertip when I throw my rise ball, but that doesn't mean that everybody has to use a fingertip. The key to using the double ball is to make sure that the top ball goes into the gap in your hand. So now I get my grip with the top ball on the inside the gap in my hand here. My finger goes underneath the top seam, my thumb goes underneath the bottom seam. And as I come down, I'm in mid motion. You can either do it from the half motion, you can do it sideways circle, you can pitch it full motion if you want to. But the key is to make sure that their arm comes through the hip and the goal is to make the top ball change places with the bottom ball. And as they're turning their fingers, not their wrist, turning their fingers, the ball will change places. So the white ball becomes the bottom ball. And then when the release happens after that, we're gonna get both balls to spin backwards. That is how you know that you have a rise ball. You need both balls spinning backwards. Not sideways like bullet spin, or sideways like curveball spin, or leaning back and just angling the ball high. What makes the ball have the rise ball effect is backspin. And this is the best tool out there for learning how to throw a rise ball. If she can make both balls spin backwards, and the way that happens is leading with the elbow, coming down, changing places, changing places. The biggest misconception about the rise ball is that it's in the wrist, and the wrist is actually the rise ball killer. It destroys your ability to throw rise balls. More often than not, if your pitcher has bullet spin or side spin on a rise ball, it means that she's turning her wrist, she's not twisting her fingers. So instead of turning the wrist, what we need to do is we need her to exaggerate the whip of her elbow so that the wrist follows the elbow in the kinetic chain of how the body moves. And the key is to keep the thumb pointed towards third base. If I keep my thumb pointed towards third base as I come down and I twist my fingers so that the top ball becomes the bottom ball, then at the release, I'm gonna get both balls spinning backwards. That is the proper way to use the double ball. I don't really think that we wanna be turning the wrist. If you turn your wrist, the thumb is gonna to point to the catcher and then you're gonna notice the ball spinning sideways bullet spin, side spin, whatever terminology you prefer. What you're looking for is backspin. And this training aid is the best on the market for learning how to make the ball spin backwards. And it will make it infinitely easier when they use a single ball to spin backwards because the muscle memory will be created of twisting and snapping the elbow, 
twisting the fingers and whipping the arm as they come through the release point. Keeping the thumb pointed to third and then whipping through. Not bending, whipping. So to see what the rise ball looks like using the double ball, in real time, in effect, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the top ball to change places with the bottom ball, and when it comes out of my hand, the balls are gonna spin as close to straight backwards as possible. So this is what it's gonna look like. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.